Yo there guys, uh, welcome to Geek of Shaves. Now, um, today I'm going to be reviewing a product. It's not a razor, but it's some shaving gear. Um, thanks to my videos, I was contacted by this company called Seven Potions. And uh, they said, would you mind trying out some of our stuff? And I said, why not? So this is an unboxing, checking it out. I did have a quick look online and uh, it does look like it's um, quite a premium product. So I'm hoping it's all good. Um, and I decided I would use the Gillette razor that I've recently reviewed, the Gillette Slab Exfoliator, because it's in the bathroom. It's got a nice stand. And uh, I think premium products, premium razor. Let's see how it gets on, shall we? So let's start by... Uh, Opening up our little box and see how we get on. So it says cultivating excellence. Have a lot of these peanut things, so let's get rid of them. Obviously, to make sure that it travels well within the packaging. Okay, so what's this first thing that I've come across? So we have a pre-shave oil. So on the back, there are some instructions. It says on here, prepares and hydrates your skin while softening your beard for a smooth and comfortable shave experience. Unique fragrance-free blend of sweet almond oil, olive oil, rosehip oil, evening primrose oil, vitamin E that is ideal for all skin types. There we go. And a list on the back. So it's all back packed there. What else do we have? Okay, so shrink wrap this one as well. Post shave balm. So first impressions, it's all yellow. Very distinctive. I'm sure if this gets onto the shop shelf, it's gonna stand out because I can't think of any others that are bright yellow. Uh, and then we have the shave cream. I do like a cream rather than a gel quite often. So hoping this will be good. Oh, and we have a little bit of paperwork in here. Let's have a look. So dispatch notes, nothing else on it. Uh, provide by Sun Fulfillment based BB postcode, I believe that's Blackburn way. So let's have a look. Seven potions. Thank you for your trust in us and you're in good hands. We're on a mission to provide fine judgment with safe natural products with no compromise on quality and performance. We believe that every man should look his best. It is with this in mind that we formulate and manufacture our products. Our promise is to deliver nothing less than men's grooming excellence. Nothing less than excellence. It's quite a bold statement. So, as it says, it's a pre shave. I guess I should give this one a go. Got to remember to keep it on camera. So, what do we have? We have a small bottle, it says it's made in England pre-shave oil application. Apply a small amount on the air you plan to shave and massage for a few seconds. Depending on facial hair growth, it can be used prior to face lathering or as a shave cream alternative. Well, we'll go with the prior to lathering, shall we? So, let's just give it a bit of a wet. There we go. Very much alchemy to me. There we go, so four drops, because I've got a reasonable amount. Okay, not much scent on there, and I can't really feel it. A little bit more.
There we go, I can feel a little bit now. But, yep, no strong odours, so no strong scents coming through. Um, just having a look. Yeah, nothing in there in particular would stand out to me for a smell that should be populating through. Box, yeah. So the box can go for recycling now. Shows that it's suitable for recycling. Which will mean we've got to the shave cream. So, uh, tell you what, I'm going to take the packaging off of the shave cream and post shave balm together so that they're ready to go when I want them. There we go. I have a feeling they most likely backpack these or shrink wrap these for transit just to give them that little bit of extra protection stop them from flipping open so directions dispense an almond size amount of cream into a bowl after wetting your shaving brush and shaking off excess water make circular motions until a rich lather is produced apply evenly to the skin and begin shaving if the lather's consistency is too bubbly or dry adjust the amount of cream or water used for best results, use with seven potions pre-shave oil, which we have, prior to lathering and post-shave balm when finishing. Now, I'm sure they have seen my videos before, and I know I get commented on, use a brush, but I've always found most creams work really well if you lather it by hand. So, not as instructed. Is there a seal on it? So secondary seal, no, nope. just a very thick consistency. Whoa, that was a little bit more than a palm sized amount or an almond sized amount. Nope, not gonna win on that one. Oh. Do I have a bowl? Do I heck? Oh, well, shaving foam lid. Get rid of the excess till tomorrow or the next day. Just had to check in. Okay, so a small amount of lavender, I think, coming through. Slightly citric. I think I have over applied. got a very, um, how can I say, almost oily consistency, very much one for hydrating and softening the skin. Yeah. Not sure if you can see it. But in the water, it does leave a little film. So, quite a few oils in there to help make sure that your skin's well moisturized, as it were.
There we go. So, pre done and give it a few. So, the blade is running through smoothly. There we go. Give it a dry off. Nice and smooth, soft and supple. Got any nicks? Nope, no nicks. So, the shave cream works pretty well. Not really, it feels soft as it is. Not really sure I need uh, the post shave balm, but when in Rome, uh, this one's coming out smaller. There we go. Have I just done it wrong again? Rinse face after per dry well, dispense a small amount and rub gently on the face and neck until fully absorbed. The best results combined with seven potions, pre-shave oil and shave cream. So, for best results, do what I have just done. Okay, again, may have put a little bit too much on to start with. Yep, definitely need to wash my hands now. good idea to wash your hands after the post shave balm
Now, I do get commented on quite a l often. I don't put post-shave balms on. It's because I tend to find I feel a bit oily afterwards. And after having a shave, I don't like feeling a bit oily. So I think in future, I would not use the post-shave balm because it's not a feeling I like, but that's just me. I think the shave cream on its own gave me plenty enough softness and uh, I don't think I would need to put the extra lubrication on afterwards. Although on a wet, cold, wintry day, it may give some protection. I don't know, but there we go. So that was the, uh, the shave from Seven Potions. Hope you liked it. Go check them out, see what you think. Um, and of course, remember guys, you gotta like shaving. <laughs>